everyone. So today I am going to be sitting here and chatting you through my February favorites. I have to apologize now, it's just started tipping it down with rain and I'm sat in the conservatory. So if you can hear the like pitter patter of rain on the ceiling, that is why. Although I actually think it's quite a nice sound personally. Just might be a bit distracting in a video. <laughs> One thing you may notice is I've had my hair cut and coloured. I've gone short, I've gone blonder. It looked much better yesterday <laughs> when uh, my hairdresser Sam had like properly styled it. Um, this is like day two, I've slept on it, um, but I freaking love it. It's like my favourite hairstyle I've ever had and I never thought I would be saying that. I always keep my hair so safe, I think. Like, a lot of you could be looking at this being like, you're still playing it safe, babes. It's not like bright blue or anything. But I haven't had my hair this short since I was like six or seven years old and I just did not think it would suit me. But actually having seen me with hair this length, I, I think it's probably my favorite hairstyle I've ever, ever had. I'm still so bummed that I kept that long hair for as long as I did because now when I look back at videos with my like really long hair, I think it looks so limp and so lifeless and so gross. I wish I'd done this sooner, but hey ho, I've got a really, expansive list of things that I've loved this month. So I'm just gonna get straight to it. I've got two hair products that I've been loving. The first of which is the Way Memory Mist. So you spray this on your hair before you style it. And I've just found this to really hold whatever hairstyle I've got. So whether I'm going for like a straight sleek look or I'm doing waves or I'm doing curls, I put this on before I, um, use tongs or straighteners and I just feel like it holds so much better. I also just love the smell of it. Oh, it's lovely. So yeah, I've been using that a lot and loving it. Another product I've been really enjoying using is the Windle and Moody Light Satin Hairspray. I feel like for some looks, it's, wow, it's really raining. I feel like for some looks, it's really nice to have a lot more hold, but with more hold comes kind of like crunchiness. Excuse me. It's really raining. <laughs> I mean, do I just sit here and wait? It's not quite a pitter patter, that's like a downpour. It might pass. It might just be a passing like black cloud gone so dark as well. Oh, a goose. I don't know what to do, it's so loud. Okay, it's getting quieter now. Okay, anyway, <laughs> back to the hairspray. When you want something that's kind of a lot more hold, it does come with a bit of crispiness, which I think most people kind of accept if they want more hold in a hairspray. However, I've been liking this just, I guess it, as a bit more of a texture spray, I just like spray it in and just like do some scrunching and I just really like it for that. I just think it's great. Skincare wise, I don't think I put this in my other video, but this is a apricot moisturizer by the brand KC, KCSI. I've never heard of it before. It's a brand from Hungary. I bought this on Cult Beauty and I just thought it looked really nice. I have to admit it was a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but you really only need quite a small amount. I've used about half of it up. It's a really lovely, quite light moisturizer, but I found that it's been really like hydrating and I love the smell of it. It does smell kind of vaguely of apricot, probably more a real apricot than like a kind of more fake apricot smell. Oh, Nala's now playing with her toys in the background. It's just gonna be one of those videos, I think. <laughs> apricot Whip Moisturizer, hydrating, vitamin boosting, and nourishing. And it says cosmetics of nature. I've really enjoyed using it. I think it's just the word whipped as well. Like any beauty product that has whipped in it, I'm like, oh, that sounds really luxurious and lovely and I really want to use it. So yes, love this. 
my skin loves this and it does not feel too heavy on your skin but does kind of really moisturize it which i've really enjoyed another product i have really loved using is the saturday skin balancing act skin smoothing lotion this kind of has the complete opposite texture to the apricot moisturizer this is very liquidy and it has this pump let me just show you on the back of my hand um so it comes out like that it's not like super liquidy it kind of has a very similar feel to the clinique moisture surge which is feels a lot more like hydrating and like watery i can't really explain it because it's not watery in texture but it's like watery once you rub it in it's just very very hydrating but i absolutely love this it's such a treat for your skin it's a lovely base for foundation and the rest of your makeup and i've yeah really been enjoying that another thing i have been completely obsessed with is sheet masks I know so many people love a good sheet mask, but I've just never been, I don't know, I feel like any time I've wanted to use a face mask, I've always gone for something out of a pot or something that you have to like mix up and like paste onto your face and wash off. Mainly because sheet masks, I feel are just quite messy and I tend to end up getting it in my hair and I just I don't think I was really using them properly and like fully embracing them and I think recently I have been fully embracing the sheet mask one of which I absolutely love is this I've had to like fold up the end this is one that I've already used but oh my god I loved it I've become very obsessed with banana scented products basically I want to do a banana scented product in my next beauty range for next year so I've been doing a lot of banana product research and I've been trying lots of different banana scented products and seeing which kind of banana scent I like and which one I think would work well in certain products. So I tried this thinking, oh, banana. And this smells exactly like a banana milkshake. It smells so much like a banana milkshake, it made me crave a McDonald's banana milkshake, which I don't think I've had in like 20, like four years or something. I think the last time I had when I was a child, and so I actually went out and got myself a banana milkshake after after putting this on because it just smelled so incredible. Oh my god, love it. It wasn't just the smell of this that I loved. By the way, this brand is... Oh, I don't know. It's all in Korean. And I got this in my P.O. box. So unfortunately, I can't tell you what brand this is. But I feel like if you search this, it will probably come up. It wasn't just the smell of this that I was absolutely obsessed with. It was also the way it made my skin feel and look. Loved how this made my skin feel, made me fall back in love with sheet masks. And since using this, I've been using so many. Just whenever I'm having a bath, I'll put one on and then I'll take it off after the bath and like rub it in. And yeah, I just, I've been really enjoying it. The love of sheet masks is back. February for me <laughs> was a month of extremely dry skin everywhere i had dry legs i had dry hands i had dry lips i had dry feet just i felt like every inch of my body was like screaming out for some like quenching and so i basically had to use a lot of products that were going to hydrate my entire body which meant when it came to bath time i lent more towards an oil this one i loved this is the origins calm to your senses lavender and vanilla oil for bath and body so i just uh excuse me come here <laughs> are you just gonna sit there okay all right then uh yeah this a smells delicious oh my god amazing for bedtime because of the lavender and it just left my body feeling so moisturized and i felt so relaxed and i had a really great night's sleep after using this but i do think this was just what my body needed um a good old hydration a little bit of oil and then i did not feel so dry another product that i think saved my skin was this which is the ameliorate skin softening bathing power with collodial oat therapy I actually used up the whole thing this month. 
So this is a skin softening bathing powder, which is a conditioning bath soak specially formulated to help provide immediate comfort for dry and dehydrated skin whilst respecting the skin's natural moisture barrier. I had for a really long time, I think I got sent it quite a while ago um, and I was rummaging through my um, bath drawer, which has like all my bath powders, all my bubble baths, all my like bath additives things to make my bath nice and i spotted this and i thought oh oat therapy that sounds like something my skin needs and so i have been putting this in my baths and i love it it makes the water so milky but also has so much in it that just when you get out you feel like all silky and smooth and so yeah love that another thing Thing I've been using is the Glossier Balm.com Universal Skin Salve. Anytime I don't have a lip colour on my lips, I've had this on. I put this on in the morning, I put this on last thing before bed. Basically, anytime I remember and my lips have nothing else on them, I've been applying this and it's been great. It really helped sort out my super, super dry lips, so I'm very happy about that. Fragrance wise, here is my trusty old friend, Gucci Rush 2. If you watch my vlogs or you're subscribed to my Morzoella channel, then you may have seen when I went to Amsterdam with Alfie, I purchased this in the airport on the way. And the reason behind this, actually no, Alfie bought it for me, I didn't purchase it at all. And the reason behind this purchase was that this was my first kind of teenage, grown up perfume. I'd had other perfumes before, I'd used my mum's, but this was my first proper perfume. And I wanted to get it because I wanted to be reminded of all those like old times. And this is so nostalgic, but I've been wearing this so much this month and I've completely fallen back in love with it. It's a really like light, fruity scent and I just flipping love it. I can't believe it's taken me this long to find it and buy it again. It just completely like escaped my memory, but I've been really enjoying this. Okay, on to random things. I bought this in Amsterdam. This is a Chili's uh, bottle. So this bottle is aluminium, I think, aluminium looks it metal um, and it's got a screw lid and it's really cute but the reason I bought this was because I wanted to try and be better at not using plastic bottles so I've been refilling this and I've actually been doing a very good job of it I'm really pleased with myself but I flipping love this I've had many water bottles and many like glass ones and like slightly smaller ones and plastic ones but this one I have kept reaching for more so over any others because it keeps cold drinks cold for 24 hours and hot drinks hot for 12 hours so when I put really cold water in this at the start of the day it's cold all day and I just love that and it slips really easily into my bag and does not leak candle this has been in my favorites before i've talked about my love of this a lot but since spring is now coming i went and purchased a new one of these and i've been burning this in our bedroom before bed and i just love it it is the joe malone tomato leaf green tomato leaf candle oh my god so this smell reminds me of moving into the flat on the seafront in like 2014 because I had this as my kitchen and living room area smell. So whenever I smell this, I just it makes me think of the flat, which is such a nice like memory for me, but also it makes me think of really sunny days and being by the sea. And so it was kind of vital for me to repurchase this now that spring is on the way. So this is something that technically happened in March, but it happened right at the start of March. So I'm just adding it into here. But I went to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and oh my goodness, it's incredible. I am a huge fan of Harry Potter. However, I did not buy this, um, 
play the book um, because I wanted to see the play, but now I really want to buy the book and reread it because it was insane. I don't know what I was really expecting, but Alfie had been to see it and he said it was one of the most amazing things he'd ever seen. Well, he says it was the most amazing thing he'd ever seen. So I did have quite high hopes and those high hopes and expectations were definitely met. It was incredible. If you are, I mean, if you're a huge fan of Harry Potter, you've probably seen it anyway. But if you are a big, big fan, like I wouldn't say I'm like hardcore fan. I'd say I'm like a big fan, but I'm not like hardcore. Otherwise I would have already seen it and I would have read the book. But, but if like me, you are a big fan, you have to get tickets to go and see it. It was incredible. It's quite long, but it is broken up into like different parts so it doesn't feel long at all that was one thing i was a bit apprehen apprehensive about was that it was six hours and i was thinking oh my god like surely that's gonna drag and at some point i'm gonna have a numb bum and be thinking oh my god i need to like get up out of my seat but there was not one point where i thought i can't be doing with this like i absolutely loved it it flew by so yes love that now and then so i briefly mentioned this in my vlog i think because i've been listening to the soundtrack for this a lot on spotify this month puts me in a really great mood lots of great like 70s hits but this film is a film i've loved for a really long time but i kind of reignited my love for it this this month i was gonna say this year and i've watched it so many times i listened to the soundtrack all the time i was listening to it this morning whilst i was like unpacking the food shop it's just great like it's an amazing film it has some amazing actors and actresses in it it was filmed in the 90s based on the 70s so um it just has everything amazing about a film in it and it has great characters and a great storyline and if you have not seen this then you need to See it and last but by no means least double um again if you watch my vlogs then you will see that we have played this a lot this month this is a game that i was introduced to about a year ago um at alfie's mum and dad's house because that amanda had bought this because she'd played it at someone else's house and we had a couple of games of it and we loved it i then was gifted this and since then it's kind of like the go-to game that whenever we have people round or we're waiting for dinner in a restaurant or just it's so easy to just whip out and play i'm not gonna be very good at explaining this but it's just a pack of cards that have loads of different um pictures on and every two cards has something matching so in this case it's the sunglasses and I think there's about five games you can play in this. So it's kind of like a, you can do like a snap or like quickest one to get rid of their cards or um, quickest one to get rid, put it onto everyone else's cards. Like there's so many different games and they're so easy and they're so quick and you don't have to do a whole like, oh, let me just explain the rules because it's just one of those games that if someone's never played it before, they just pick it up really, really easily. But yeah, this is definitely my, if you've got friends coming round and you need a game or you're going out somewhere and you know there's a lot of waiting or like this is a great airport game. Just, it's a great game for friends. It's brilliant. And that, ladies and gents, is everything I have been loving through February. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure if you haven't already to go and check out my vlogging channel, subscribe there if you want to see more videos and don't forget to subscribe here if you haven't yet. What else? Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I always love that, it's nice to see. And leave a little comment because I love reading through your comments as well. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you again very soon. Bye.